I grew up thinking that turtles came up on all the beaches. When I was about 18, I visited other beaches and suddenly realised they didn't have turtle tracks. I think a lot of people don't realise just how special this place is. My father brought me down here as about a five-year-old child. It was tradition to come down to Monrepo to see the New Year in. There's only one New Year's Eve since 1956 that I haven't been on the beach with the turtles here. In 1968, I started a four-year study on flatback turtles. All I can say is it got out of hand and it's still going. When I started the research, I wasn't in the Government Conservation Agency. I was a high school teacher and then later a, a lecturer. I just brought a whole group of my students along to educate them. It grew from there as seeing the value of members of the broader community having a, an understanding, having a capacity to assist in conservation, research, monitoring. We're talking generations now of volunteering in a program like this. The impact that our Queensland Turtle Conservation Program has had is it's, it's changed the whole face of conservation of turtles for Queensland. The vast majority of turtle nesting on the east coast of Queensland is in national parks. And that's a direct result of the survey work that we did back in the 1970s and working with parks management to have the areas declared national park to give strong habitat protection. When we look globally for sea turtles, there are a number of hotspots that stand out and Queensland's one of those places. The beaches here are critical for the survival of the species through the whole South Pacific. I grew up with turtles and I'd like my grandkids and my great grandkids to be able to enjoy the things that I did. If that's a legacy that I can contribute to, then I can enjoy that.